everyone welcome to my channel Anita Stories. In this video I'm going to show you how to make slime without glue, without borax, without contact lens solution, without face mask. And so just make sure to watch the video until the end because I'm going to try various different types of slimes so you if you want to see all of them just watch the video until the end and let's see if you can find the secret word of the day. So for this first slime I just took one teaspoon of water and te two teaspoons of dish soap and then I'm adding one teaspoon of shaving cream and then I'm mixing it and I'm now adding one teaspoon of oil. You can use any oil that you have at home. Then in a separate bowl I'm adding three tablespoons of corn flour or corn starch or you can also use a regular flour if you want. And then if you want you can add some food color is optional and then you can start mixing it so all these recipes were suggested in my italian videos that's why i'm not putting the comment up but if you want to suggest any recipe you can just write a comment down below and i'm going to try it in my next videos and i'm going to say hi to you and thank you for suggesting the recipe and see if it works so after mixing it with your tablespoon, you need to start mixing it with your hands at the beginning. It will be a little bit sticky and a little bit messy, but don't worry, after a while it won't be sticky anymore. And if you want, you can also follow me on Instagram or Facebook. The name is still the same, Anita Stories. So this is the final result for the first one. It really looks like a butter slime, but it's a little bit softer. So it's really nice to play with, so I would totally suggest you to try this one if you have all the ingredients at home. It's super easy to make. So next recipe. For this recipe I'm using some shower gel, but you can also use some shampoo or hand soap. And then I'm adding a little bit of body lotion and then some shaving cream. Not too much. Then you can mix all of them together. Then you would need to add a little bit of play-doh or whatever modeling paste you have at home. So you have to mix this one until the play-doh is part of the mixture, so you will need to press it hard. Then you can add a little bit of baby powder. If you don't have baby powder, you can use a regular flour or corn flour or corn starch and then you can add corn flour or corn starch and then keep on mixing them. Add another two tablespoons of corn flour or corn starch or regular flour. The secret word of the day is blue slime. If you watched the video until now, just write in the comments the secret word of the day without saying that it's the secret word of the day. So like the other one, after a while that you've mixed it with your tablespoon, you need to mix it with your hands and as always at the beginning it will be a little bit messy, but don't worry, after a while it won't be sticky anymore, you just need to mix it for a while with your hands. If it's too sticky, just add a little bit more of corn flour or corn starch or whatever you're using. And then this is the final result. I really love this one and I love the color. And it's really soft and stretchy because there's also play-doh in it. So you can really stretch it and play with it. And yeah, I really like it. Let me know in the comments if you like it too. And now let's go to the next recipe. So for this other slime without glue recipe, you would need some Nutella or chocolate spread, whatever you have. I finished Nutella at home, of course. <laughs> so I was using a different chocolate spread. This was actually a test. So, and I'm adding a little bit of icing sugar. If you don't have icing sugar, you can use some um, flour, corn flour or cornstarch and then you need to add a little bit of oil 
So the person that suggested this recipe told me that after a while it won't be sticky anymore and you can play with it, you can even eat it. <laughs> However, um, I saw that it wasn't becoming very slimy, it was still very sticky, so I continued adding some flour. But it wasn't working, unfortunately, for this one. So if you have tried this recipe um, with the Nutella or if you want to try it, let me know if it worked for you and how you did it and what you did. So let me know in the comments and I might try it again next time I would buy uh, Nutella again, of course. <laughs> so I really hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments what do you think and let me know your recipe and thanks so much for watching until the end of the video. I love you all and see you in my next video.